guys, Miss Carlene here, and we're going to have a story today. And I'm wondering if some of you guys have a favorite blanket or a stuffy that you sleep with, because I brought my blanket that I had when I was really little, and I'm going to show that to you after I read the book. So let's read this book. It's called Smelly Blanket. Looks like Zoe's coming for the story. Going to listen to story time with me? Okay. Jake loves his blanket. He takes it with him wherever he goes. Scruffy and Nippy love their blankets too. Today, Sam has come over to play. Fee you, says Sam. Those blankets are whiffy. They're stinky, Zoe. Shall I wash your blanket and make it smell nice? asked Jake's mother. No, thanks, said Jake. It doesn't like being washed. He hugs the blanket tight. Washing makes it smell like washing powder, all clean and yucky. While Jake and Sam are playing, Jake's mother sneaks Jake's blanket into the washing machine. While Jake's mother is feeding baby Jake, Jake sneaks the blanket back. Jake hides under a bush in the garden with Sam. He sniffs his smelly blanket and tells Sam about all the things it smells of. Scruffy, his dog, and Puddles, and Grandma's special biscuits. Ooh, that smells kind of good. While Scruffy is playing with Nippy, Jake's mother sneaks his blanket into the washing machine. While Jake's mother is making lunch, Scruffy sneaks the blanket back out. Scruffy hides under the bush of the garden with Jake and Sam. He sniffs his smelly blanket. It makes him think of bones and holes and chasing sticks. Ooh, so the puppy likes that blanket too. While Nippy is washing her whiskers, Jake's mother sneaks her blanket into the washing machine. While Jake's mother is washing the dishes, Nippy sneaks it back out. Ooh, that kitty's in trouble. She hides under the bush in the garden with Jake and Sam and Scruffy. Nippy sniffs her smelly blanket. It smells of kippers and mice and saucers of cream. Jake's mother sneaks baby's blanket while he is asleep. She is putting it in the washing machine when, wow, baby wants his blanket. Jake's mother gives baby his smelly blanket and he sniffs it. It reminds him of cuddles and car rides and big brother Jake. While Jake and Sam are playing, Jake's mother sneaks Jake's blanket into the washing machine. They search upstairs. They search downstairs. Then they search in the garden. There you are, said Jake's mom. Come on, let's go, says Jake's mother. If you won't let me wash your blankets, then let's give them a good airing. Jake's mother, baby, Jake, Sam, Scruffy, and Nippy shake out the blankets. Up and down, they shake them, round and round. At last, the blankets have all been aired out. Everyone flops down in the grass. I've had a lovely morning, laughs Jake's mother. We may be smelly, but at least we've had fun, says Sam. I've had a lovely morning too, giggles Jake. My blanket is full of sunshine and laughter. We've got the best, smelliest blankets in the whole world. And there they are with their blankies. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my blankie. Now my mom kept this for me. It's pretty ratty. This is what's left of my blanket. Whoa, what do you guys think of that? There's not much left of that. But this blankie, oh, I always had to have it with me when I slept and everywhere I went. So that's what's left of my blanket. Not a whole lot. But I bet you guys have something special you sleep with too. All right, guys, we'll see you later.